hey hi guys welcome to youtube so in this video we're gonna learn how we can run a graphics file in dev c++ so basically you can uh, follow this process for other compilers too for example you can do the same process in code blocks i'm doing this thing for dev c++ let me show you uh, how it runs the graphic files basically first we create a project then we create all those uh, coding lines and then just uh, execute it compile and run okay it takes little time to compile and uh, here it's compiling it's uh, saying enter the car speed time buddy so it's five seconds okay let me like this uh five seconds enter and here you can see this graphics uh thing is running basically so how would uh, you can make these thing runnable in your uh, dev c++ i i'm going to show you that okay so let's start from from beginning let's just start from the scratch okay everything from scratch so to start everything from scratch we need to uninstall this dev c++ first first of all we need to uh, we need to and uninstall it let me uninstall it control go to control then go to programs uh, programs and let's find out dev c++ and then right click uninstall it and that's it uninstall mm, just few seconds let me also check okay it's recording <laughs> i thought it's not recording and you can also check my other tutorials on c plus plus there i have teaching you that how you can make uh, uh, basically how you can make lines circles all those basic things in c plus plus you can check out those videos also link will be in description this is taking too much time so i'm fast forwarding this part here okay so yes the remove all remove all and it's complete now we need to install this dev c++ once again so let's install this thing once again so it's here software setups uh dev c++ here is a dev c++ setup oh yes let's install this thing now <sighs> sorry for my voice i'm sick <laughs> come on come on come on yay 100 percent now choose the language okay agree uh nothing here you need to do just keep it same all the settings same next and uh, here you can choose the destination where you wanted to install this software basically and just install it now once again i'm going to fast forward this area this portion basically okay so now it's installed so let's run it let's finish it let's finish the installation and now it's running dev c plus plus wait Mm, okay so here here first we need to choose the language choose your language in which you are comfortable then click next uh, here are some extra options for you you can choose colors icon look extra extra i'm not interested in this thing so next and then just press ok and dev c++ is running now but right now dev c++ can't run graphics file so we need to change some uh, files in our dev c++ so let's do that thing first first you need this folder which i have you need all these files first okay so uh, you need all these files and after this we're gonna insert these files in our uh, in the in that place where we have installed dev c++ okay so let me show you how so uh, we installed uh, dev c++ in c drive so go to c drive in your case this could be this this would be your uh, chosen destination uh, obviously so i have installed dev c++ in c drive uh, in uh, program files 86 here you can see dev 
cpp so i will open this so this is my all files of dev c++ so let's open my folder this one folder <laughs> this folder from where we gonna copy all those files okay so first uh, copy this file its name is uh, six console app graphics dot template and link of all these files are in description you can go check out check it out there okay check out the description for these files uh, we're gonna copy this uh, c console app graphics dot template file and console app underscore cpp graphics dot text file so just copy these both files copy and now go to the dev c plus plus folder where you have installed it okay so this is a dev c plus plus folder now go to templates there will be a templates folder open that folder and here you're gonna paste those two files do this for all items continue and it pasted here okay so two files are copied now once again go to that folder and now choose graphics.h file and winbgim.h file copy these both files and once again go to devcpp folder here you're gonna see mingw64 folder open that folder in mingw folder you're gonna see 86 underscore 64 uh, this folder basically open this folder and in that folder you're gonna see include a folder open that include folder and once again paste those two files which we just right now copied graphics.h and that uh, other file okay and continue and we paste it here and now go back to the first file we are again back in dev c plus plus now once again go to the that folder from where we copying all these stuff here you can see one once one one more file which is lib bgi dot a just copy this file copy and once again go to dev cpp folder it's very simple just follow the step properly okay now in dev cpp folder you're going to see min gw64 once again uh, that same folder open that folder in that folder you're going to see 86 64 basically this folder <laughs> open this folder and in this folder you're going to see lib this time it's lib not a include okay so open a lib file uh, lib folder lib folder and paste that file here paste it here okay and that's it that's it now open your dev c plus plus now we're gonna create graphics file here okay so go to file and then go to new and in new choose the project in project you have to choose console graphic application because it's very important if you wanted to run graphics file you have to choose this file okay now if you are writing code in c you can choose c project or you can choose choose c++ so i'm choosing c++ and then you can name your project anything uh, so i'm giving it name uh, hello hello and then press okay click on okay and I'm saving this file in desktop and I will suggest you to create a separate folder for all these graphic files. So folder name will be hello also. And inside hello, we're gonna save our file, our project basically. Now we have main.cpp file. Here we're gonna type uh, graphics uh, code or code. But before this, we have to do one thing. Here in this corner, you can see this uh, TDM GC gcc 64 bit release here we need to choose 32 bit release so choose 32 bit release here and this is a most important step most of people don't follow this thing so you have to follow this thing you have to choose the 32 bit release there after this just type the code let me create some uh, let let me create the uh, uh, let's create a line basically graphics graphics dot dash main the braces 
and let's create the line creating line and here i gonna type i'm making line so of course line function then choose the x coordinate uh, i will start from 200 and y co coordinate will be 210 and then choose the ending point ending point will be 400 and y will be 410 so line will be like this okay but now we also need to include one more thing here which is uh, i and i t window basically this thing uh, this function is uh, basically used to create a window size okay so size will be uh, in, inside these parentheses so size of our window will be 800 comma 800 height and width that's it and uh, i want it uh, to hold that uh, line which we have created in c++ so to do to do to do that we we will type get ch that's it and save this file in that hello folder save it save it here now it's saved now go to execute compile and run now it's getting started just wait for few seconds first time it takes little time after this it don't take any time so it's created now okay so this is how you create the line uh by using uh, by, uh, in c++ basically this is how you create a line uh, okay if you wanted to create a circle it's very easy uh, circle <laughs> and just then just choose the x coordinate then choose the y coordinate and choose the radius of the circle and save the save the file compile and run and now circle will be created in that uh, window so just wait it's loading so now circle is created so now circle is created so this is how you can uh, uh, run graphics file in dev c++ you can follow that uh, this same process in uh, code blocks also and make sure of uh, this step uh, don't forget to choose uh, td uh, to choose tdm 32 bit release make sure you have chosen this thing if you doesn't choose in this thing if you didn't choose in this thing basically this option then your file will not going to work so make sure you have choose you have chosen this option so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any question i will suggest you to watch this video once more once again uh, after this you can ask me any question and you can watch my tutorials on graphics uh, uh, link will be in the description or you can check out my channel also thank you so much for watching i have taken lots of time thank you so much for watching bye bye take care bye